BCU, resilience, integrity and community. These are the three values that drive us towards creating impactful projects for our community. Over the last year, we used the design thinking process to develop three projects for our community. One project is currently in the implementation stage, two projects in the ideation stage. We've come a long way since last year and we aim to achieve more in the coming year. We managed to overcome the barrier of engaging the students through a time like COVID-19 and so we have increased the number of Anactus BCU members to 30. We have hosted a series of events throughout the years, most notably our recent workshop on decision making, which is now being developed into one of our new projects. In the UK, there are 14.1 million disabled people. However, 82.1% of people with disabilities were unemployed in 2020, which means that they will have been relying solely on the Disability Living Allowance Scheme, receiving an average of £59.70 per week. After other expenses such as bills, rent and equipment costs to consider, this leaves them with 33.20 per week and also the proportion of the working age of disabled people living in poverty is 26%, which is higher than the proportion of the working age of non-disabled people, which is 20%. Further, over one in three disabled shoppers reported that long queues were agitating their condition or impairment. Half said they had issues getting essential items and 56% of disabled people said they have not been able to register for priority delivery slots and almost one in three had to wait more than two weeks for a delivery slot. Hence why we developed Saver Sizes, a food delivery service in Birmingham where student volunteers provide food boxes containing items such as bread, pasta, tuna, noodles, cereal and fresh fruit and vegetables that are near the expiry date and are provided by a local food bank. Each box contains recipe cards that are tailored to the food items within the box so our beneficiaries can independently prepare and cook their own meals. Our primary objective is for our beneficiaries to have excellent access to food, are supported with heavy loads of groceries, can cook their own meals, therefore making it easier for them to receive a balanced diet on a budget. Along with this, we aim to reduce food waste for our beneficiaries that is crucial since 6.6 .6 million tonnes of food wasted yearly in the UK. The project also aims to address four of the UN Sustainable Goals, zero hunger, good health and well-being, reduced inequalities and responsible consumption and production. With the delivery service, our eight current beneficiaries provided from our charity partner Better Pathways receive weekly boxes containing approximately eight food items enough to make two or three meals, as well as a recipe card which details how to use those ingredients to make a healthy, nutritious meal and the national value of each meal. We partner with local food bank Feed on Edo, who provide us with the food and was given funding from Sodexo Stop Hunger to kickstart our project trial, where we have spent a total of £143 in equipment, marketing costs, packaging in our trial project. We managed to deliver 32 boxes of food for our beneficiaries, which in normal circumstances they would not have access to or would have to have a tough time trying to get access to. We helped our beneficiaries to learn about nutritional value of their food intake through the recipe card that had instructions on how to cook the food, store the food and nutritional value. We received feedback from our project partner Better Pathways that the most beneficiaries did not waste any of the food items received and any items returned were shared with other clients. Further, the beneficiaries found that the recipe cards were really well put together. Therefore, our beneficiaries were able to cook meals easily using the recipe cards without wasting as much food as they did prior to the project. Our project pilot was highly successful in supporting individuals with disabilities to gaining greater independence and access to food. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure. Yeah. Yep. Got it. We are aiming to expand save sizes by increasing the number of beneficiaries and by providing the service across more areas in Birmingham, especially those with the highest levels of deprivation. In three months, we aim to increase the delivery service to 16 beneficiaries, recruit at least three new student volunteers and create a collection point at university where students can donate food items near the expiry dates that we can add to the food boxes. In six months, we aim to have 25 beneficiaries and a second food bank working with us. In 12 months, we hope to increase the service to 35 beneficiaries. To make our project sustainable, we will charge our beneficiaries a low cost of £3.50 per month for four boxes. £2.92 of this cost will cover supplies needed to package and create the boxes. That includes cardboard boxes, tape, stickers and biodegradable laminating pouches. The remaining 58p per beneficiary will be reinvested back into the project and will be used towards transportation costs for our student volunteers, 
to deliver the food boxes such as bike hire and will also be used for other projects. The average person spends £26.80 on groceries and £13.80 on takeout each week that totals £106 spent per month. Therefore, our service will save our beneficiaries an average of £102.50 per month. For a full year of the service, our beneficiaries will pay £42. To reinstate so far services has had a significant impact on our current age beneficiaries. We have been able to increase their access to food and increase their independence with cooking their own meals with confidence. Now we go all the way to Malawi, South East Africa, for a second project impact to Malawi. Malawi is known to be the tiny country with a big heart, which fits perfectly into the mission of our project. In 2018, the dropout rate at secondary school education level has increased to 10.9%, with more girls dropping out than males. This is linked with the transitional rate where 38.3% of students goes to secondary school after completing primary school. Education is perceived as a key issue in Malawi, where funding is limited and students are not learning as much as they should do. Malawi is currently ranked the weakest in its performance in English reading and second of all, the weakest in mathematics against other Southern African countries, which can pose an issue for communication with beneficiaries. There is also a problem with network and internet connections, which can pose a problem with communication. Currently in Malawi, a mobile data plan of 300 megabytes per month costs $1.70, which is 5.4% of gross national product per capita per month. This makes it expensive compared to a 20 gigabyte mobile data plan, which exceeds the gross national product. And this poses a problem with affording an internet connection to communicate with those within and outside of Malawi. We decided to create a mentoring program where we'll connect with school children in Malawi with busy youth students to teach various disciplines and subjects and exchange knowledge. We use modern technologies such as smartphones and laptops to hold mentoring sessions. WhatsApp and Zoom were amongst the most sustainable method of communication. Our aim is to provide young children a better quality of life skills and professional development for university students, as well as building relationships between the UK and Malawi. We will achieve this by having regular communication with children on the subject area they want to learn, moreover boosting social interaction through long-lasting friendship. Through this project we want to increase life and higher intelligence skills for Malawi school children as well as PCU students in subjects such as art, music, technology and fashion. Furthermore, we want to develop professional mentoring skills for both Malawi school children and PCU university students in skills such as communication, trust, organisation skills and time management. Finally, our main goal is to support Malawian schools in teaching the young generation skills necessary to increase quality of life. We have started these steps by connecting with an international non-governmental organisation called Building Futures in Malawi, where they are currently supporting us in developing this project and connecting with school children in Malawi. We are currently working our strategies on tackling the issue of connecting the university with Malawian schools to ensure that a relationship can be created and strengthened between the metro and the beneficiaries. We aim to start with five students from Malawi and five PCU students to do a three-month project trial where with the mentor and the mentee can establish a strong relationship and learn new skills at their own pace. After three months, we aim to increase the number of beneficiaries to 10 and 10 mentors and continue to build the program where we can host workshops based in different subject areas. We are looking to fund this project through a subscription plan where the beneficiaries of school will pay an affordable fee per month and this will be returned through funding mentoring training, resolving the issue of connection and internet problems and much more. When we first started this time last year, we weren't sure if we could have projects that could impact our society. However, the past year reminded us that we should believe in the causes that matter to you the most and this is what we did. We have now implemented Saver Sizes into a sustainable and impactful business model and is now developing two new projects that will give an impact to our community further. I'm Manache. I'm Lefki. I'm Prav. And I'm Sana. We will lead change in a diverse and inclusive world. Thank you.